the final part, part F, we look at using TR Inspire program. So we look at a couple of examples and then later on we'll have a quick chat about um, how to access such programs and some warnings and cautions about using them. So let's start by looking at um, the Immort Loan program. So it's a file that's saved on your calculator called Immort Loan. And when you open it, you run the program. So we're just putting in some information about a particular loan to be amortised. And in the exam, you are expected with um, amortisation tables to um, perform a number of calculations by hand. So this is a table where we've just said we want the first five calculations um, for the table. And um, in a short answer exam, you can be asked to fill in the blanks for an amortisation table, and you could use this program to do that. You might also be asked to do uh, things such as find all, um, complete the table, and find out what the value of the final payment is. And in this example, uh, without going into great detail to tell about it, you'll see that it gives you the option of saying, well, I think it's going to take 151 payments, but the last payment, I'm sorry, the screen's dodging around a little bit, now we can see the last payment will take you, um, will end up with a bank owing you money. And if you adjust it, you can see that it's made the correct calculation for what the last payment should be made. So the final balance is zero rather than otherwise. That's all the program does, um, but it uh, may help you with some calculations.